What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay, and I'm back at it with another banger. Now, in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to create the best pure shot creator build in the NBA 2K20. And I will also be showing you guys the best badges to use with this pure shot creator build. Now, before we get into the build, I will be showing you guys two different ways you can make this build. Yes, I said it, two different ways. Now, the first way I'm showing you how to make this build is the best way you can make this build, in my opinion. And the second way I'm showing you guys how to make this pure shot creator build is going to be if you want more shooting badges, right? So once again, the first way I'm showing you guys how to create this build is the best way, in my opinion. And the second way I'm showing you guys how to create this build is if you want more shooting badges. Now, with both of these ways, the game was like your archetype, it would still call you a shot creator. That's all your archetype gonna say, shot creator, all right? So let's get into the build, man. First thing first, make sure the position is a point guard. Hand don't matter. I prefer left because I feel like left-handed players shoot better. Jersey number don't matter, but we're gonna go and rock out with number 28, bro, all right? So we're gonna rock out with number 28. Now, you wanna choose this pie chart right here. The green and orange pie chart, the shooting and playmaking pie chart. This is the pie chart you want to choose, all right? Now, once you choose that pie chart for the physical profile, you want to choose the very first one. Just because whenever you create a dribbling archetype, you always want to go for whichever pie chart gives you the most speed, all right? As you guys see, 77 speed, 86, 86, 83. The first one gives you a 90 speed, so just go with the very first pie chart, all right? Now, since we enter the build, you guys, you guys have to pay attention right here. If you do not pay attention, it will not call you a shot creator. So listen to everything I'm saying and make sure your stats is the exact same as my stats, all right? So let's get into it. Your close shot, you wanna mess it out. You wanna mess out your driving layup. You wanna mess out your driving dunk. Your standing dunk, you wanna mess that out. And you wanna put your post hook to 42, all right? So you guys will have seven finishing upgrades, okay? Now your mid-range, you want to match that out. Three ball, you want to match that out. Free throw, you want to match that out. Your post fade, you want to put your post fade to 68. So you will have 20 shooting upgrades. Your pass accuracy, you want to put your pass accuracy to 78, all right? And you want to match out your ball control, okay? This right here, what you just did to pass accuracy and ball handle, this is what, what's going to call you a shot credit, all right? If you change any of this, if you go to 16 instead of 15 uh, playmaking upgrades, it will not call you a shot creator. It will call you a playmaking shot creator, okay? So just make sure your playmaking looks just like this. Make sure you got pass accuracy at 78 and mess out your ball him. Then you want to come down here, mess out perimeter defense, lateral quickness, your steals, put everything else on defense and rebound. Now, as you guys see, you will have seven finishing upgrades, 20 shooting, 15 playmaking and seven defensive upgrades. So like I said, in my opinion, this right here is the best way you can make this pure shot creator build. But if you want if you want more shooting badges and you want to uh get your shooting badges maxed out, I would not recommend it because you get 20. 20 is all you need. All you need is quick draw, dead eye, range extender, hot zone hunter, and green machine hall of fame. With 20, you can get all five of them badges Hall of Fame. But for whatever reason, if you want all of your shooting uh, masked out, all right, so this is what you want to do. You want to take away all your post hook, all right, and drop. you want to drop your standing dunk down to 37. Then you just want to put D16 on, uh, on your post fade, all right? Then you want to come down here to defensive rebound. You want to take two away from that, and you just want to put them two on your post fade, and as you guys see, now you will have six finishing upgrades. You will have 22 shooting upgrades. You will have 15 playmaking upgrades. And you will have seven defensive upgrades. But I would not recommend this way just because, bro, you don't, you do not need 22 shooting, bro. All you need is 20. So I'm going to go knock all this back down and put it how I had it on the first way. So we're going to knock that down to 20. We're going to come down here, put them two back. We're going to come up here, put your standing dunk back, and we're going to put that right there on post hook. Now, as you guys see, this right here is the best way you can make this build. Now, after you find out which way you want to make this build, you just want to pick your body shape. It don't matter. Whichever body shape you want, just choose one. Your height. Now, I would recommend going 6'4 or 6'5. 
For me, if I was to make this build, I would go six foot five. I would put the weight all the way down, and you want to put your wingspan all the way down. Now, as you guys see, you got an 87 ball handling. You guys got to realize, look at your stats right now. When you hit 99 overall, that's going to give you plus four to all of your stats, bro. So your three ball going to be in the 90s. Your ball control going to be in the 90s. You feel me? Like, this is a great build, bro. Now, you want to put, like I said, put your wingspan all the way down, weight all the way down. Takeover is out of three. You can choose playmaking, sharp shooting, or shot creator. Now, for this video, we're going to go with shot creator just because this build is a shot creator. And as you guys see, it's going to say you have built a shot creator. That's it. It just calls you a shot creator, bro. Now, I'm going to show you guys what badges to go with and stuff like that. But like I said, this is a very good build to use, bro. Like, it's nothing wrong with this build other than the playmaking. But if you want to be called a shot creator, you got to deal with them playmaking, bro. Now, for finishing, what I would do is I would put slithery finisher on gold. I will put fancy footwork on gold, and I will have uh, either giant slayer on bronze, or I will have consistent finisher on bronze. I don't know, but I will have. I know for sure I will have fancy footwork gold, slithery gold, and I will either have consistent finisher or giant slayer on bronze. I don't know which one, but for this video, we're just gonna go with uh, consistent finisher because I really don't go up with dumb layups and stuff like that. But I'ma just keep consistent finisher bronze. Shooting is very easy. Like I said, all you need is 20 shooting upgrades. Green Machine Hall of Fame, Quick Draw Hall of Fame, Range Extender Hall of Fame, Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame, Dead Eye Hall of Fame. This is the only shooting badges you need. That's why I said if you're going with 22 shooting, it's really a waste of time, bro, just because these is the only shooting badges you really need in this game to green consistent. Like, this is all you need. So I recommend having these shooting badges Hall of Fame, all right? Now, playmaking is where it gets tricky because you only get 15, okay? So you know you want to have unpluckable bronze. Quick first step, you want to have that Hall of Fame. Counting for days, you want to have that Hall of Fame. Now you have six left, bro. So what I would recommend doing is, I don't know how you guys play, but if it was up to me, I would have my uh, Dimer on gold, and I'll probably put Space Crater on gold. Or you can have like your diamond silver and put space creator hall of fame. Like it's whatever you guys want to do. But if it, if it was up to me, I would have gold diamond, hall of fame hunting for days, hall of fame quick first step, bronze unpluckable, and gold space creator. This look like a very legit lineup right here, bro. Like it's very good right here. Yeah, everything is good right here. Just leave it like it is. But hey, like I said, I don't know how you guys play. So if you guys play different from me, you can probably change something around or do what you got to do, man. But yeah, I would recommend having it like that. Now, defense. Bro, defense is very, very easy. And I'm going to explain why I put these badges. Clamps, you want to have that go. You want to have Clamps go because you can stay in front of your defender while you feel me, they dribbling. Because you know you're going to be holding ISO players, players that use the screen, all this type of stuff. So just hold, I mean, just uh have Clamps on go. Intimidator, you got to have that on go. Intimidator is a must on go. Now, this last defensive badge, bro. So, what I would recommend doing for this last defensive badge is putting chase down artists on bronze. Now, I know you guys, wait, let me explain myself real quick. I know you guys looking and probably saying chase down artists on bronze? Like, Jay, is you drunk? Is you hot? No, bro, listen to me, man. Chase down artists. Like, bro, I praise about this badge. Like, this is a very good badge. And 98, 97% of the community sleep on this badge. Like, bro, once you equip this badge, it make your player, no matter what you is, you can be five foot seven. It make your player feel like your player is a lockdown, bro. Because when you chasing somebody down, he jumps so high at the ball. And some of the times you will get the block, no matter what your block rating is. Like I always said, bro. My uh six four, I mean, yeah, my six four playmaking shot creator had like a 30, a 29 block. I put this badge on bronze, bro. When I'm chasing down centers, I can block centers. I can block slashes. And, y'all, I'm not even lying right now. In one of my videos, I showed y'all the clips of me blocking centers and stuff. Like, this badge is key, bro. 
So that's why I would recommend having chase down artists on bronze. So like, you never know when you're gonna be on the fat break. If you don't have this badge and you trying to chase somebody down, your dude won't even jump at the ball. It like he won't even get off the ground, bro. But with this badge, you jumping at the ball. You getting off the ground, man. But yeah, bro, I would recommend having these defensive badges. Or if you really want to, if you don't really, if you ain't that high on chase down artists, or you feel me, you don't want your Intimidator maxed out, you could probably put like Pick Dodger Silver or uh, Interceptor Silver. It's up to you, but me, I will have my badges just like this. Gold Clamps, Gold Intimidator, and Bronze Chase Down Artist. But I hope you guys enjoyed this banger. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more great content. It's your boy Jay, and I'm out. Peace.